Jonathan with Iron Mind Hypnosis. So you want to quit smoking and you want to do it on your own and you don't want to use hypnosis. Now, I think hypnosis is great, but any way you smoke fewer cigarettes, I'm on board with. So let's talk about my second hack for quitting on your own. I've already talked about the importance of a smoking journal and the things that that will show you. Just as you look back through, through maybe it's 20 cigarettes that you smoke, you, you journal each one, when, where, what you're feeling or doing, right? But let's talk about mindfulness because this, this is a real killer for, for, for smoking. Is a lot of smokers, as you do the smoking, you do it mindlessly. You've got a habit, you've, you've well, there's very few voluntary, voluntary actions that you can engage in. I mean, sure, you breathe quite frequently, and sure, your heart beats frequently, and your digestion works all the time, right? But if you're smoking a pack a day, that's 20 times that you do that thing. If you're only a half pack, it's still 10 times that you do your smoking behaviors every day. So it often drops below the level of conscious thought, which is where the habit's being run anyway. But if you don't want to smoke anymore, if you're done with this, one really great way to, to, be, to get the rest of you on board with how done you are is to be absolutely mindful when you smoke. So when you, you, you take out the cigarette, by all means, do your smoking journal. But while you're actually smoking, do nothing but smoke. Smoke that cigarette and smoke it mindfully. Starting from, from pulling it out of the pack. Thinking about how you light it up. Maybe the sensation of, of the lighter. Maybe it's one of the, the ones where, where you, your action actually strikes the, the flint. Maybe it's electronic. Depends on what you've got. Maybe you're using a match. Maybe you can even smell like the, the sulfur in the match. And you take that inhale once you've, as you light the cigarette. And you focus on each breath, each inhale of that smoke. You focus on the flavor, how it feels in your lungs, how it smells. You focus intently only on aspects of smoking. My understanding of the research on being mindful with smoking is that that alone is sufficient for about half of smokers to quit with that one hack. So, when you smoke, don't distract yourself with anything else. Don't distract yourself with a conversation. Don't distract yourself with your phone. Don't distract yourself with a Sudoku or, or listen to the radio. When you smoke, do only that. Do only the smoking. And from, from pulling the cigarette out of, of, of the pack to lighting it to each drag on the cigarette. Flicking ash, snuffing out the, the butt and throwing it away. For that time, make that the only thing that you're doing and do it mindfully. Don't worry about what you've got to do when you get back to work or whatever is next. Don't, don't think about your past. Think only and as intently as you can. And it's okay if your mind wanders. It's not the goal, 
But if your mind wanders, that's natural if you don't already have a meditation practice. So don't worry. It might be difficult and it's okay for it to be difficult to keep your focus in the moment on the smoking. But do that. There are basically two outcomes. Either you will be more on board with your desire to quit and that will start aligning your unconscious mind to make it easier for you to quit. Or you'll appreciate your smoking more. And that doesn't mean that you can't quit, but if you're gonna do something that's as expensive and has the health benefits that smoking has, you might as well enjoy it. So be mindful, one way or the other, it will make your life a little bit better. And again, that's enough for 50% of people to stop smoking with this one hack alone. So if you do this and you also find yourself journaling, little notes to yourself, notebook, where you were, what time it was, what you were, what you were doing. If you throw in there what you were think, thinking or feeling in your little smoking journal, for each cigarette. That's two hacks you've got already. I hope this empowers you. Have a wonderful day. Take care.